In this video we're going to learn how to use the statistics functions on your Casio FX85 GT Plus calculator. First thing we need to know is how to get into the stats mode. To do that it's just mode 2. And when you put in mode 2 you'll notice that most of the options are for regression calculations. Most of the time you'll simply be using single variable stats. So this is just mode 2 and then 1. So we've got uh, mode 2 and then 1, so you've got 1 var, 1 variable. All of these others are um, used for regression or multivariable statistics. So let's have a look at what you can do in single variable statistics. We'll just put it into single variable. You can find sums, means, standard deviations. You can find the minimum and maximum of data. So if all your elementary statistics calculations. So we'll just enter some numbers, say 1, 2, 3 in X and then to save this we press AC this is important AC saves that now we need to get back into the statistics menu so you'll notice on the number one you've got stat maybe you can't see that but shift one puts you back into the stats menu so if you were to press five you could find the minimum and the maximum uh, you've got your summations in number three and on four you've got various statistics that you can do so if we're going to four you find n n is the number n is your number of data points you've got x bar on number two which is your mean um, you've got sigma x which is your n definition of standard deviation and sx which is your n minus one de uh, standard deviation so if we press four then this function appears in the top line and pressing equals solves for this so it finds our standard deviation. If we move on to more complicated statistics um, we can see that the calculator does um, things such as Pearson's R and regression. If you're not familiar with Pearson's R the theory is very simple. Um, it's got a very nasty formula so you've got this big formula that does the calculation. It's a real pain to evaluate but essentially what this is going to tell you is how correlated your data is. So if all of the data lies perfectly on a straight line sloping down the way, r equals minus 1. If all of the data is perfectly on a line sloping up the way, you're going to have r equals 1. If it's somewhere in between on the line and not, so some something like this, you're going to have r is somewhere between 0 and 1. The closer to 1, the better the correlation. And if you're right down at 0, like here, there is just no correlation. No line is going to do justice to a very random data set. It's not going to show any correlation. So the best way to see how to do this on the calculator is to just do an example straight away. So we've got x is 1, 2, 3, and then in y we've got 3, 5, and 7. If you look closely, you'll probably notice that y equals 2x plus 1, so 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3, 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5. And this equation is in the form bx plus a, that's how the calculator understands it. So b would be 2 and a would be 1. So when we do the calculation we're finding b and we're finding a and then we're substituting it in and we should get this equation here. And clearly r is going to be equal to 1 because all of these points lie perfectly on the line y equals 2x plus 1. So let's go, go ahead and do this on the calculator. So first thing we're going to do is put it in the correct stats mode. So we're going to press um, mode then 2 and we want a plus bx so that's pressing 2 again. So let's enter our data so we've got 1 2, 3. If you enter your x first, it's a lot more simple. And then we can just go down the y column entering it rather than going back and forward. So we've got 3, 5, and 7. Okay, so that's our data entered. Like before, we're going to press the AC button to save. So just press AC, that's that saved to memory. Then we press Shift, and then 1 gets us back into the stats menu. Now if we press 5, we've got all of these regression um, options. Pressing 3 and then equals calculates R, which is 1, just as we expect. 
then we want to find A and B. So to do this, we're going Shift 1 to get back into the Stats menu. Now pressing 5, and then 1 gets us A, and A is 1 that's just as before. So 1, then the Regression menu, 2 for B equals gives us 2. So we now know that A equals 1, B equals 2. See there, A equals 1, B equals 2. We've got BX plus A. Substitute A and B into this equation and you get 2x plus 1 as ex expected. So that's an overview of all the statistics functions that you get on your Casio calculator. And thank you for watching.